Hey, welcome to the Game Shed. My name is Mark and this is another gameplay video. I've chosen a classic here today, it's Lemmings for the SNES. You may wonder why I chose this port in particular. Pretty much just because it was available to me. I love the game and I wanted to do a gameplay of it for the channel. So um, I've gone for the SNES one and uh, it's, it's a goodie. It's a goodie. The original Lemmings was released on the um, Amiga and the Atari ST, so Commodore Amiga Atari ST, on February 14th, so it's Valentine's Day 1991. Um, amazing game, amazing reception it got when it first came out. Everyone clambered for it, everyone wanted it. Um, I personally had an Amiga 500, I had the cartoon pack, so Lemmings came as part of that with a couple of other games. Um, the SNES version, on the other hand, came out a little bit later that year. Um, in Japan it came out just before Christmas in 1991 um, meaning it got the Christmas rush that everyone had seen it on the Amiga and the Atari um, rushed out uh, just before Christmas and can you imagine how many people got lemmings in their stocking that year or however you do it in your country um, which must have been a lot. Anyway came out in the USA uh, North America March 1992 so uh, Good few months later, then it came out in October 92 in Europe, as usual, way behind. So you can see here, this is the basic premise, lemmings fall out of a hatch in the ceiling. They all wander about, you have eight different behaviours to play with. Um, the first one here is uh, a digger, basically. Um, I think it's called, yeah this one's actually called a digger, yeah, because he digs downwards. Um, very basic first level, you dig down, they all run into the uh, portal doorway thingy at the end. Dive in, you get a percentage every time one of them jumps in, it's very very simple. So there's a bunch of other um, skills that can be assigned I suppose to the lemmings. Um, you've got climbers, where you can make the lemmings climb vertical surfaces. You've got floaters, which isn't as it sounds. It's actually where you give the lemming the ability to float. Basically, they, they have a little umbrella, a little lemming umbrella, which they... Um, good example of it right here. So check the video. This is going to be floaters. Umbrella. Poof. Down. Walks to the doorway. So there we go. That's that one. You've got bombers. Um, basically, you can set the bomb timer off on your lemmings and make them blow themselves up. Um, this can be quite fun right at the end of every level which is pretty much what I do um, just for fun. So I, I set off the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 at the end of every level um, and see how close I can get to the doorway. I didn't at this stage but you'll see it happen. Um, you've got blockers. Um, I think the next level is a great example of blockers. So here we go, tailor made for blockers. Um, it tells you how much a percentage of lemmings you need to get through the doorway in order to pass the level. So here we go, look, I've set that skill on that lemming. He's a blocker. Very basic graphics, I love it. Um, there was no need, well I suppose at the time that they weren't able to, but there isn't any need for this to be complex. It's a very nice, simple graphic, graphically game. Ugh, that doesn't make any sense. Graphically simple game. Um, and it, it, it works so well on so many levels. Um, you can see here you've got, well, right the way through the game you have a cursor. This would have been a lot easier on the um, Commodore Amiga because it had a mouse. Um, whereas the snares are using the D-pad, it's slightly more difficult, but it doesn't matter. We have fun anyway. Um, look at all these lemmings falling out of that hatch. Um, 
the SNES version of this game was developed and published by Sunsoft, uh, whereas the original Amiga and Atari games, they were developed by DMA Design and published by Psygnosis. Um, God bless them. God bless their soul. Um, yeah, and, and as you can see, or as you may know, should I say, this was one of the most popular, or is one of the most popular games of all, of, of all time, really. It's massive. It's been on so many different platforms. Possibly one of the most ported games ever. Um, I, I think it's allegedly over 30 different ports. Here we go. Look at see the bombers. Oh dear. I blew them up way too early. I thought I was going to time that really nicely and let them just get into the portal. But no, I blew them all up like an idiot. But it doesn't matter anyway. You only needed 10% for that level. That's how easy that level was. I got 52%, so I blew up. 48% of my lemmings. So, yeah. There we go. This one, you're going to use uh, another skill, which is Basher. I think. No, sorry. Idiot. Miner. Miner has a pickaxe. He goes diagonally. Um, and as you can see, we're going to combine two skills on this one. You've got miners and climbers. So that they mine, one you get one to mine diagonally, straight down, well diagonally, and uh, then you get the climbers, climber skill, add it to all of them. They climb up, they jump in the portal. It's that simple. Love it. There's a couple of others. You got um, bashers which dig horizontally. That's what I was mentioning before. Builders, they can build an actual stairway diagonally up. Or uh, I don't know whether it's diagonal. Yeah, I think it's a rising stairway. Um, you can have 12 bricks in that. And that is all the skills. Um, very simple. You can see them all lined up along the bottom. You've got... Um, see, I said I'd use the bombers, but I actually hadn't. Um, it was a silly thing to say. I'm sorry. I'll go back on it now. There's actually a nuke mode, um, as you can see on the far right of the skills. Um, and that nukes all of them. The bomber mode is actually the third skill along and you can actually make individuals explode. So yeah, anyway. Right, I'm gonna get onto a few facts about this game. The first being that this sold 55,000 copies on the first day of release. Um, that's what I've read. That sounds like a lot. That's decent for back in those days. Nowadays it's obviously a lot more. It's different. But a crazy amount sold on the first day. but. It's, that's uh, fantastic anyway. Second thing, 15 million estimated copies sold since 1991. That's pretty decent, that's pretty impressive considering um, what the game actually is. So it's gone to so many different ports and, and it's sold a lot of copies. There is a um, iOS game called Caveman made by Mobile One Up. Um, well worth looking at actually because it is ba it, the premise is Lemmings so it takes what this game is and, and just changes it to different characters, basically different level maps. But the, the premise is the same, so it's definitely worth looking at um, if you've got iPad or iPhone, anything like that, because you can get a game that's very similar to Lemmings. If you haven't got a SNES or you haven't got an, an Amiga or anything like that, definitely worth jumping on there and uh, getting a copy of that. Um, is there anything else about this game I haven't told you already? Well, there may be. But I don't know it, so if you put it in the comments, then uh, we'll reply back. So have a look at that. I tried to blow them up at the end, tried to nuke them, but it didn't work. Um, that was Lemmings for the SNES. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did, considering how many Lemmings I saved. There we go. Thank you for watching. Um, there's obviously other stuff I'd love to say about the game, but that's all I could fit into this eight minutes. Um, subscribe to our channel, like the video and drop us a comment. Um, any comments are always welcome. Um, make sure you get yourself down to Twitter or get yourself on Twitter. Follow at Games Shed, two S's. Um, just, uh, just hit 2,000 followers and we're absolutely over the moon. So keep us going. Um, last thing, go down to our website www.thegameshed.com Com. We've got loads of articles on there, including retro gaming collections, tattoos, DIY, more and more. Thanks for watching. See you later.